click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, what we are going to do today is we are going to see what are the different types of welds. So for doing welding, weld preparation is important but it is not just a small name. You just need to prepare the weld which differs from object to object. So let's see in this video. So we are dealing with types of weld like if we consider a table like a normal bench it is kind of right angle in shape so if need, you need to weld one plate or one plane which is horizontal and one plane which is vertical now they make a right angle you need to weld at a corner so this is another type of weld the welding takes place which is called as corner welding now you need two tables with a single plate now you need two plates with a single plates hanging so it is kind of t-joint there the welding plates place differently like when i say you need to make a v shape or a u shape then the welding takes place differently so welding is also complicated depending on the parts to be welded and on the shapes to be welded so we will go one by one on the types of weld and how it it is exactly be done so the first welding is fillet welding the name itself suggests you just need to fill the corners if i'm talking about a t-shaped joint or an angle shaped joint fillet welding is used if i'll show you the diagrams in the next slide the basic thing is for this welding you can use either an arc or you can use fuel also you can use oxyfuel arc anything it can be done but what happens is two parts have to be brought together and welding is done basically at the edges or at the corners so fillet welding can also be done single or double like you need to weld three parts four parts so double triple welding is also done if i'll show you in the diagram the things would get more clear so now you'll be seeing there are four fillet welds the first picture is showing the welding is done at right angle but at the bottom side it is the bottom fillet weld in the second picture you can see welding is done on the upper side so what happens is welding can either be done on the lower side or the upper side depending on the convenience basically convenience matters the most if the lower side is not to be seen it can be on the lower side and the weld is joined so according to the convenience it can be done but when you will go to the third picture there is a lap joint on which the welding is done we will be studying the types of joint in our different videos but there is a lap joint and it is joined at the place where it has to be joined that is at two corner edges so it is double lap joint and when you will see the last picture it is a T joint but the welding is done at both the corners so the next type of joint which is after fillet is plug joint you can see there are two diagrams in one diagram the plates are kept one above another but the slot is circular and in the second joint the plates are also kept one about another in the second diagram the plates are kept one below another but this there is a slot it is not a circular slot there is a slot kind of slotting is done now you need to weld these two parts whether the circular part or the slotted part by doing plug joining that is you have to make a plug pool so in this way joining takes place we have to keep both the plates together and a pool is formed where it has to be joined where your plate has to be joined same thing happens with the slotting part plug welding is done there also like it's kind of lap joint but at the slotting part the welding is done so this is groove weld we i could also give an example of a butt weld like two parts are joined but depending on the joint it is classified as u shaped joint v shaped joint or a j shaped joint the name is groove weld a groove is formed it can be v u or of any shape two objects or two plates are joined by using butt joint but a groove is formed so if you will see in the diagrams the things would be more cleared so in this diagram there are almost six type of joint some are u some are v some are single v some are double v but the double v joint is precisely for the thicker objects if the object is thicker you need a double v joint like if the height is more you have to join at both the parts but 
the main thing which can see is a groove is formed at the joint it is not directly a plug or a fillet joint a groove is formed and the objects is joined so the main more difference of groove joint from the other joint is the basic part which is groove so the next types of welding rather than groove or fillet or butt joint are spot and seam joint so when i'm talking about spot weld welding takes place at different spot so if i'll say there's a 10 centimeter or 15 20 centimeter wooden plank you have to do spot welding at few places at a places which are equidistant from each other you have to weld at specific spots like you have to weld at 10 mm distance or a 20 mm distance only that spot is welded like a tong like you take a tong two tongs weld at that spot and it is done spot welding is a very frequent welding which is done then i'll go to seam welding the same thing can be done on a whole line in seam welding rollers are used spot welding i have told tongs are used in seam welding rollers are used for example if i need to make a pipe but by using flat plates the plate is flat but while applying pressure the plate get folded and when it get folded properly welding will be done by using roller welding but only on the joint place i'll show you the picture of that in our next ppt but welding is done on a only line that is called as seam welding so spot and seam so in this two picture the first picture show spot welding and the second picture shows seam welding in spot welding you can see welding is done at proper spots not at the whole line or at the whole arena but in seam welding a line is being welded but what i have told you is seam rollers are used for welding that line i have given an example of a pipe you can relate to that while studying seam welding thank you for watching this video Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.